Hello friends, today I am going to solve lit code problem number 973 k closest points to origin. In this problem we are given an array of points where each point is an xy coordinate that re represents a point on the xy plane and we have an integer k and we need to return the k closest points to the origin and we are also given the uh, formula to calculate the distance between the two points and since one of the points will be an origin so this x2 and y2 is going to be equals to zero so the formula for this becomes okay uh so our formula becomes uh x squared plus y squared okay and the whole we are going to take a square root of the whole right so sqrt i'm just going to write this for a square root of this so we are just going to take the square root of this thing and now one more thing we actually do not need to calculate the square root because we don't want the actual distance we are just comparing the distance like let's suppose we have two values nine and four and if we take the square root of these two the value we get is equals to uh, three and two and we know that three is greater than two right three is greater than two and also we know that nine is greater than four so by default uh uh, if we have the square then the root of uh, the square the value is also going to follow the same thing okay the same order so if a value is greater than other value then the square of that value will also be greater than the next value okay so instead of the square root we are just going to use this uh, so now let us see uh, we may return the answer in any order and the answer is guaranteed to be unique okay so we are given points over here and the value equals to k so what we need to do is let us go take this example and try to find out our approach to the solution okay so we are given these two points and we are given the value k now we need to find the distance between these two points so one means in x axis one and in y axis three so it could be somewhere over here so we have one point one three over here and we have minus two in the x axis and two in the y axis so it could be okay somewhere around here so this is minus two and two now we need to find the distance between the origin and this point and compare this so what are we going to do is we are just going to take this formula this one and we are just going to find the square of the distance okay so the square of the distance would be for 1 and 3 would be 1 squared plus 9 which is equals to 10 and the next for minus 2 is equals to 2 4 right so for that one we'll have 4 plus the square of 2 is also 4 so this will be equals to 8 so basically this is the point closest to our origin right because 8 is less than 10 so it is near to the origin so we return this value now here we know that we are what are we actually doing is we are comparing the distances right so we've calculated the distance and now take the distance and we kind of sort them out and based on the sorted uh, result we take the first k elements okay the first k so k is equals to one so we take the one element and we return the point corresponding to this distance which is this one right so this is when we are applying sort and we know that sorting is o of n log of n time complexity right since we are sorting all the n number of points so that would be n log of n time complexity using sorting approach so uh, can we solve it in uh, less time complexity well yes we can sort solve it using of n log of k time complexity using um, heap okay so let us try to see the heap approach all right 
so for the hip also we need to find the distance okay but we are not going to store all the distances so in our hip let's suppose uh, we have few more values few more points here suppose we have 10 points over here so we find the points distances for all the 10 points but let's suppose the value of k is equals to uh, 3 okay so our hip will only be of size 3 okay so it will only have three notes and these three notes will be will be the notes with the least distance so we can then in q i mean dq from our hip and get the points the three points which are closest to the origin okay so that's the basic concept i'm not going to go into details of what heap is and how we are going to calculate i'm just going to now go ahead and um, calculate and write our solution so that's heap okay we are going to use and we are going to use max heap here so that whenever the distance whenever the uh, size becomes greater than k then we pop out we dq the first element from our uh, heap that is the top element and the top element should be the greatest of rest of them right so that at the end we have the least um, the least distances the closest points okay so let us dive into our code now so uh what are we gonna need is we need a heap so i'm going to create max heap okay new um and now for each of the point we are going to calculate the distance so let us also create a distance function so that it is easier for us so distance equals to function and we need the x and y coordinate and we are going to find return x times x plus y times y okay so that will be our distance square of the distance and now let d equals to distance of okay so instead of point i'm just going to use array day structuring so that gives us x and y and now since we have the distance we are going to include that into our heap and we are going to include it based on the distance right so this is the point and this is the value based on which the heap will be structured all right now that we have enqueued we need to also check if max heap size is greater than k then we need to remove the top element so dq the top element and this will give us the heap of size k now that we have the heap of size k we need our result right so we create our result and now for let uh, until the size of the heap so i calls uh, zero i is less than dot size plus plus until the heap is not empty we want to push to our he our result the value right the element element -E all right and we return our result so this result will have k elements because our heap is of size k so it will be of k size now let's try to run our code and check if everything works fine so one thing that i'm doing wrong here is uh i'm iterating until the size right but the size is changing every time i am dequeuing from the max heap so this is not the right thing to do so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start from this value until i is greater than or equals to zero and i minus minus okay and should be greater than now let's run this code 
okay so this work uh, instead of for loop what we can also do is while we can use while here so while the heap size is greater than zero we will keep on iterating over this loop so this should also work fine amazing now let's try to submit this one great so this is how we can solve it in o of and log of k time complexity so let's let's dive into how are we ac actually calculating the time complexity so for our uh, max heap we have the maximum size of k so whenever we um, add uh, an element so it would take a log of k time to uh, uh structure the max heap okay and for n number of points it would take n times log of k time complexity right so that's our time complexity and our space complexity is also o of k as we are using max heap of maximum size k and our result is also of size k so that's all about this solution i hope you liked it let me know in the comments down below and if so please like and subscribe to my channel thank you so much